there was a family situation that Jesus Christ was invited to participate in. The Bible tells us that while Jesus was in that wedding, the wedding wine ran out. And that becomes a reproach. That becomes a shame. It becomes automatically a life story that will continuously and continually destroy the name of that family. People will go about and say, we went to their marriage ceremony, and at the end of the day, they were unable to take care of the needs of the people. But Jesus Christ was that place and said, because I'm there, they cannot be this kind of disgrace. Because I'm there, they cannot be this kind of reproach. Because I'm there, they will never be this kind of shame. Just like as I'm telling you now, because you are here, not because you are righteous, not because you pray, not because you talk to God every day of the, of, of, of the night, not because, you go, not because you organize fasting for yourself, not because you wait on the Lord, but just simply because you are, you are here. Your change will come. I see your change will come. The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 2 that Jesus Christ later on changed water into what? Into wine. Wine means sweetness in homes. Wine means flourishness, sweetness, celebration in the home. So what I've come to say to you this afternoon is that anywhere that the sweetness of your marriage has diminished, the hand of God is coming again to pour fresh wine. And feel that ah, we have been married, married for a long time, and we have no, no, no sweet story to share. Because just has gave them more wine that was better than the former wine. A better wine is coming to your home. We say better wine is coming to your home. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the man that is called Lazarus. Lazarus experienced. In fact, it's not about experiencing. Lazarus died. When he was sick, information got to Jesus. And Jesus replied that same information and said to them, The sickness of Lazarus is not unto death. Yes. But the devil went and said, No, it is unto yes. So when Jesus Christ came, he said to the grave, I am the resurrection oh. and the life. Because he said the same God that death would not hold captive. Yes. So when he stood at the door, of the tomb of Lazarus. He gave thanks to his father and said, Lazarus, do what? Comfort. There was a divine encounter that resulted to a divine change that brought about a dead man into life. What does that mean? It doesn't mean that everything that seems dead in your life will have a turnaround. Everything that seems dead in your business will take a turnaround. Everything that seems dead in your ministry Change the neighbor. Change the story of 